Kenny Shields, the lead voice of Streetheart, has died. I'm John Bowden from RockHistoryMusic.com. Anyone growing up in the 70s or 80s in Canada would know would have Streetheart as their official or at least one of their official soundtracks of their lives. And Kenny Shields was the lead voice of that. Longtime Streetheart guitarist Jeff Neal released the following statement this morning. It is with deep sadness and regret that I announce that our dear friend and bandmate Kenny Shields has passed away quietly and peacefully early this morning at the St. Boniface General Hospital in Winnipeg, Manitoba. By his side were his wife Alina and his daughter Julia and sister Charlene. Our thanks to the caring and compassionate staff at St. B for all the dignity and comfort that they provided for Kenny and his family throughout this difficult time. We are most grateful to each and every one of you for all the love, support, and hope you have extended towards Kenny and his family over the last few weeks. I know personally how much it meant to Kenny, and I know that your kindness contributed to his inner peace at the end. Live your life, love your life, and enjoy every moment of your life with the ones you love. Rest in peace, my brother. You will be missed. You will never be forgotten. A few weeks ago, Kenny Shields had to pull out of their farewell tour because he became too ill to perform. In 2014, I reached out to Kenny Shields not knowing there was anything wrong with him at all. I just wanted to do a retrospective of the band Streetheart. Having seen them four times in concert and being a big fan, having all their albums, I thought, I'll start with Streetheart if I do a Canadian music retrospective. Immediately on Facebook, he asked for my cell phone number. A few weeks went by and I was waiting for a family member getting out of a counseling session in my car when my cell phone rang. It was Kenny. He told me that he was going through an awful lot. He sounded quite somber and said he really couldn't do an interview at this point, but appreciated me wanting to spotlight the band after all these years because they were really sort of an underrated band in Canada in spite of the success they had. I always felt that if more people outside the country had heard Streetheart, they'd become a worldwide sensation. But it's like the bouncing puck theory, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Sometimes you just don't get that chance. Our conversation was very short, we talked for maybe 20 minutes. We talked a little about rock and roll and mutual friends that we had in music, and that was it. In March, I reached out to Kenny again to see how he was doing. He got back to me right away, and he basically said that this would be his last year. And at that time, I didn't know what he meant by that. Maybe he meant he knew he was dying. He had a heart ailment. He underwent emergency surgery a while back, and Kenny not giving me any more information. I just kind of left it at that, and I said, no problem. I hope you're doing well. Good luck on the farewell tour. Kenny Shields was born and raised in a very small farming town in Saskatchewan. But as early as age six, he knew music was incredibly important to him. Growing up, he won several amateur singing contests. And when it was time to leave home, he went to Saskatoon, went to university, and quickly was recruited into a band called Witness Incorporated, which later turned into Witness, which later turned into street art. But just as his career was taking off, he was involved in a serious car accident, which took him years to get over. Eventually, he heard that calling, kept working on his rock and roll skills, and then that fateful day when he was touring Western Canada, and he met Paul Dean and Matt Frenet, who would later go on to form Loverboy. But they were the nucleus of the beginning of street art. So by the second album, Dean and Frenette would leave to form Loverboy, but that would not tarnish the success of Streetheart. With Kenny Shields on lead vocals, they produce hits like Action. And I remember the first time I heard that on the radio, when Kenny Shields singing Meanwhile Back in Paris, I was embarrassed, babe. I remember being 18 or 19 at the time, thinking I would have never thought of doing that with the lyric, that, that kind of phrasing with the lyric, but it was brilliant, simple thing that made the song stand out. And of course, Spider Sinyov's amazing bass playing on that song. He eventually, as well, did join Loverboy. That was three of them from Streetheart that went off to, to join Loverboy. If you're not familiar with Streetheart, I would say start with action. Read all about it. The band produced hits like Hollywood, Here Comes the Night, a great rendition of The Stones' Under My Thumb, which by the way, I preferred to The Stones' version. Tin Soldier, Look In Your Eyes, What Kind of Love Is This, One More Time, Snow White. Streetheart had six gold and four platinum albums in Canada. Kenny Shields was a true rock and roll superstar in this country with an incredibly distinctive voice. I always liked singers that would have a voice where I would think, I would have never picked that guy to be in that band, but I'm sure glad they did because they had a, a, a bigger, wider scope than I did. And his voice was amazing. Again, if you don't know this band, 
Look them up on YouTube or Apple Music, and they were quite progressive in the early 70s. I saw Street Heart about four times through the years, and each time I was really impressed by the tightness and the drive of the band, but it was Kenny in the front that made me want to stick around and want to know more about this band. I treasure that 20 minutes that we spoke on the phone and we just talked about Canadian rock and roll, and he was quite pleasant, even though he seemed a little down, as I mentioned, but it was nice to at least spend 20 minutes with Kenny Shields. May he rest in peace. He was truly one of the great ones. I'm John Bowden. Make sure you share our videos, subscribe to our channel, and uh, comment on our videos. We'd appreciate that. This is Rock History Music. (laughs) 